Hello everyone, welcome to iExambi's Law Channel Legal Week. Today I'm going to tell you about another recruitment for law graduates that has been announced by PFRDA. Pension Fund Regulatory and Development Authority has announced recruitment of Officer Grade A Assistant Manager. In this, the application form starts from 15th of September and lasts up to 7th of October. The exam date for Phase 1, Phase 2, Phase 3 is not announced and will be announced later. If you see, there are around 15 vacancies for general, 2 vacancies for finance and accounts, 1 for information technology, 1 for research and 2 for legal. For legal, there are 2 vacancies of unreserved general category. The education qualification is bachelor degree in law from a recognized university or institute. Some important points that you should notice in the notification. Candidates are permitted to apply for maximum of two streams. So you can apply for two streams at the same time. Similar to what was mentioned in SEBI legal notification. Also, final year candidates are eligible to apply. As given in note 6, candidates who have appeared for final examination and are waiting for the results are eligible to appear for phase 1, phase 2 and phase 3 of the selection process. However, when they are going to join PFRD, at that point, they should be able to produce the necessary documents. Age limit is also mentioned. A candidate must not have exceeded the age of 30 years. He must have been born on or after August 1, 1992. Relaxation in age is also given for various categories. You can check that out from the notification. In the mode of selection, there will be three phases. Phase 1 is your online screening consisting of two papers. Phase 2 again is online examination consisting of two papers and phase 3 is your interview. If you have seen SEBI legal notification, you will see that the exam pattern for PFRD legal is same as SEBI legal. In phase 1 online examination, there are two papers. Paper 1 will have four subjects, QRE, GA, English, Quantitative Aptitude, Reasoning and GA. Similar to SEBI legal, there will be 20 questions in each of this area, in each of this subject and maximum marks are 25 so each question will be of 1.25 marks duration is 60 minutes paper 2 is your law paper having 50 multiple choice questions of 100 marks there will be negative marking present in both the papers the only difference that lie here is phase 1 cutoff will be decided by PFRDA in SEBI legal the phase 1 is merit based you need a minimum of 80 marks out of 200 30 in paper 1 plus 40 in paper 2 in SEBI legal. But here in PFRD legal, the minimum aggregate cutoff marks for being shortlisted for phase 2 will be decided by the authority in relation to the number of vacancies. This is not a merit based kind of exam. Now moving to the phase 2, there will be two papers. Paper 1 is descriptive English for all the streams having three questions, essay, pressy and comprehension. Paper 2, which is your legal paper, will again have multiple choice questions, 50 questions of 100 marks. There will be negative marking in paper 2, cutoffs will be decided later. Paper 1 will be evaluated only of such candidates who obtain minimum qualifying marks in paper 2, which is to be decided by the authority. Then moving to the phase 3, which is your interview stage. Your phase 2 online exam has 85% weightage and the interview will be allotted a weightage of 15%. In the service conditions and pay and allowances, it is mentioned that every candidate will undergo probation period of one year. Every selected candidate will go through a probation period which is of one year. And also pay scale is also mentioned. The basic pay is from 44,500 up to 89,150 over a period of 17 years. Then there are gross involvement including PFRD's contribution towards NPS, grade allowance, special allowance, Special grade allowance, dearness allowance, local allowance, family allowance, special compensatory allowance, learning allowance, housing allowance, making a minimum of rupees 1,40,000 per month. There will be other benefits also, LFC, medical expenses, personal accident insurance, IE refraction or cost of spectacles, education allowance, financial dailies, book grant, briefcase, conveyance expenses, house cleaning allowance, staff furnishing allowance, scheme for purchasing computers, Sodexo meal cards and all other benefits as are admissible to an officer of grade A in PFRTA. There is another qualification allowance mentioned. In addition, 
to the pay and benefits a candidate appointed as an officer grade a would be eligible for qualification allowance as well here you can see for law graduates if you are possessing a phd degree then you can have a qualification allowance per month of rupees 3500 In the posting, you can be posted to any location in India where PFRDA has its offices. It may be New Delhi, Mumbai, or a regional office at any other center which may open in the future. Examination centers are also given. You can check out from the notification. We will be moving to the syllabus now. The syllabus for paper two that is legal is also mentioned in the notification very clearly. This is the syllabus for paper two for legal stream, which is common for both phase one and phase two. There is PFRDA Act and IRDA Act, which is different from SEBI legal. Other than that, all the other areas are present in SEBI legal as well. SEBI Act, Constitution of India, Law of Contracts, Indian Contract Act, Indian Partnership Act, Specific Relief Act, Criminal Law, IPC, Code of Criminal Procedure, Law of Evidence, Code of Civil Procedure. administrative law and principles of natural justice jurisprudence and interpretation of statutes important latin term and maxim law of torts and consumer protection arbitration and conciliation act part 1 part 3 and part 4 transfer of property act chapter 3 4 and 5 law of trust corporate law includes companies act llps ibc taxation includes general principles so if you see in sebi scra and depository act is extra which is not mentioned in pfrda and in pfrda two acts are extra one is irda act and the another one is pfrda act so this is an equally good opportunity for all the candidates who are fresher who do not have any experience and are appearing for sebi legal and also want to appear for pfrda legal as well a very good paying job few days ago there was another notification which was announced by nps in which there was one vacancy for legal assistant manager legal and if you have gone through that vacancy two years experience was required there but the pattern of the exam was similar to this there was only a slight difference in the syllabus some insurance and pension acts were added in the nps recruitment so these are three equally good opportunities for all the law graduates who want to seek a career in a regulatory body in a development authority now here if you want to prepare for any of these exams for sebi legal for nps legal or for pfrda or for all of these exams together then fill the google form that is attached in the description below we will soon take up all your queries with respect to any of these courses and we will try to give you a combined course for all these courses provided we get enough queries in the google form you can also ask your doubts with respect to recruitment of any of these exams in that google form you can also drop your queries in the comment below subscribe to our legal b youtube channel this is your one stop solution for all legal exams we have recently started a new batch for sebi legal from 1st of september for which the classes started from 6th of september as of now only a few classes have been conducted and the recordings of those classes are also available in your dashboard if you are interested fill the google form or reach out to us at this number that is mentioned on the screen thank you